Am I supposed to be recording? No. Nope. It just okay. says. Okay. So. Okay, recording. Okay. So I put a clove hit notch or knot right here. Otherwise, you'd need to use both ropes. So we're going to repel off this side, right? Because if we repelled off this side, what would happen? Death. You would die. Okay. And we don't want Rhonda to die. So we're going to send a rope down. Rope! We're going to make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. Okay, Rhonda? Yeah. So when people get down, so we're going to check everything on you. Okay. Okay. So when Rhonda gets down, uh, she's going to help you get off the rope. Okay. But essentially, the way to get off the rope, I made it just the right length for these repels. So the way to get off, um, you could take off the ATC device from the carabiner, but we're not going to have you do that because we don't want you to lose it in the water. So you can do that if you want to, and then take the rope out. But what I'm going to have you do is just pull the rope out. So, and you'll show them how to do that. When they're done. Okay. So we're going to take this rope, and we are going to um, feed it through one side of the ATC device. And if we were using both sides of the rope, then we put it through both. Can you see that? And you could also use a figure eight, but we're not doing that, so... Okay, so now we want this to be on Rhonda's right side. So, I think we just do it this way. And we need to make sure that it goes through the rope and through the ATC device, both. And then she's gonna lock her carabiner. So now she's gonna stand up. And this is where it's really important that you guys pay attention. Okay. She's gonna turn her body around. And when she goes down, She's going to make sure that she keeps her hand by her hip at all times. If you bring your hand up here, which she'll be tempted to, you yeah, don't have as much there. control. You lose control and you could um, pinch your fingers, okay? So as long as you keep it down behind your hip, you can even put it behind your back, then you'll stay safe. The other thing is you want to put the weight into your seat. So come here and tighten this up, tighten this up all the way up, okay? okay. And then take it through, show them the right way. Okay, so go ahead and stand, stand on the rock and lower, lower your bum down. I need both your feet on the wall, and I need you to have a wide stance. Okay, and then I need for her to let go with her left hand. Because you need that hand free. So Rhonda, I need you to take your hand and have it down by your hip. Okay. At all times. Okay. So her hand needs to be down by her hip, her feet need to be on the wall, and she needs to have the weight in her bum. Okay? And then she'll be able to incrementally lower herself very carefully down. If your feet are together, you will lose control. Okay? If you don't put your feet, um, if you don't put the weight into your seat, then you'll flail your body against the wall, okay? So it's really important that you have a wide stance and that you have your hand down by your hip. Okay, all right. Go be a good example. This is like a suspended chair. Yeah, and is then, your and keep your hand down by your hip at all times. Keep that left hand free. You're gonna be walking to the left as she goes around. Okay. All right.